Hey guys, Rex here, and today we are going on a ride. You ready? Three, two, one. Boo yeah, and we're off clonking away in our brand new spring legged walker, and it's a bumpy ride, and I don't know if we're gonna make it. I can't steer, I don't know where we're going, and hopefully I won't hit anything. But I think we'll be alright, because we are jostling along just fine here. That is right guys, brand new game came out on Steam today called Scrap Mechanic. And if you haven't heard of Scrap Mechanic, I don't know what kind of hole you've been hiding in because everybody's been playing it these days. But I really think that this game is the game for me because mechanical design is one of my favorite things I shouldn't say one of my favorite things it is my favorite thing ever I I love building with Lego Technic I do a lot of mechanical design and I would say that I'm pretty good at it so I am super duper excited for this game because that is what this game is about it's about mechanical design you've got a little bit of uh, programming type stuff and, and logic here and there but you've got a lot of mechanical design and I absolutely love it and I've literally owned this game for an hour guys and this is what I've come up with a six-legged walker um, each leg is individu individually powered we've got shock absorbers on the feet to make it um, a little smoother so it doesn't bump around as much it's still pretty bumpy as you can see by our guy jostling around here he looks like he's gonna throw up but other than that, um, it's pretty smooth. But yes, this game is going to be super duper fun. I have so many ideas for different things to build. And so today, I'm going to be showing you how to build this particular walker. Um, it does not steer at the moment. Likely, I will build a version that can steer later. Um, but I have to work out getting the motion even more stable first. Because as soon as we add uh, steering to a walker like this, um, it offsets the cycles of the legs and then it will uh, be more prone to tipping over. So I need to smooth out the walking animation first and then we will work on steering them. But for today, I'm going to show you how to build this very simple hexapod walker that goes forwards and backwards. Alright, let's get started here. So the first thing we're going to do, as with all structures that are independent from the ground, we need to place the lift down, and then we're going to build on the lift. And then we're going to build a platform that is 6 by 12. So let's do that here. We're going to start by going 6 across. I still haven't got this uh, building platforms thing down because, like I said, I've only owned this game for an hour, and I'm that excited, guys. I'm that excited about this game that I've already decided to do a tutorial in the first hour. So there we go, 6 across, and then we've got... Oops, I don't know why it's doing this. It's not letting me go. Oh! I had it rotated. You learn new things every day. Alright, so that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. You're going to want to center it on the lift. It just makes things easier. Alright, one, two, alright, I totally forgot you can do this. Right, let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is one too many. So let's just get rid of this one. All right, this is going to be your main platform. And then you're going to want to start by placing your uh, driver's seat uh, right in the middle if you can. That looks about right. There we go. And then you want to place two electric engines on the front and back. Now we're using electric engines here and I found this out, I actually tried to use gas engines at first and I was extremely disappointed when it didn't work because gas engines are much faster but also much weaker than the electric engines and yeah like I said I freaked out when I thought this wasn't gonna work because I was like oh I have so many ideas for cool walkers to build. Anyway let me stop rambling here. Uh, first we're going to build the little leg support. So you're gonna want to build some little stalks three high on the front on the back and then right in the middle on the back one oops like that see these two are the middle blocks here and then I'm doing it on the back one 
And then you're going to want to do the same thing on the other side. Let's go here. And here. Oop. And here. There we go. And these are going to be the supports for the actual um, rotating cams that are going to make the legs move. All right. So next we're going to add just bearings on all of the uh, leg posts here. And um, those are going to actually support the legs. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Next we're going to build little pieces onto these frames that are going to allow the legs to slide. So you can see, if I get right in here, you can see there's these little pieces that allow the legs to slide back and forth through them, and they rotate as they go, and that's what we're going to be building right now. So to do that, you're going to want to place a block on the bearing, right, on all three. We're just going to be building the same thing six times, basically. And then you want to place a block off the side and a block like this. Do the same on the other side. Now in this game, you want to make sure you're placing um, the block actually on this block here instead of attached to this main frame because the surface that you place it on uh, determines which piece of the model that it's attached to. So you want to make sure that you're attaching it to this central cube that's attached to the bearing. Otherwise, it won't work. Very, very important with this game. All right, so we've got the three on this side. I'm just going to do the other side really quick here. Like this. And see this one, I'm not sure if I goofed it up, so I'm just going to replace those. There we go. And now we should have all our little rockers here. So you'll notice that these will rock. So if I get the hammer... This guy here, and allows us to test sort of hinges. And we remove the lift, right? Um, it's on the ground, so we might not be able to tell. Yeah, we can't really tell, because it's on the ground. Let's pick it back up. Uh, here. Anyway, these will rotate, obviously, because we put them on a bearing. And then now we're going to add our motorized bearings. These ones are going to be the ones that actually drive the walker. The ones on these pegs and... You'll see why in just a moment here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to build cams. Now a cam is a little um, bit that moves in a circle but then drives some other motion that is, oops, that is sort of linear. It's, it's hard to explain here. But um, this is going to be my bearing that is attached to the engine, right? This one that's in there. And then it's going to rotate this arm around like this. And that is going to push the leg up and down through this piece here. And then it's also going to give it a little bit of circular motion so it acts like it's taking a step. If you get what I mean, I'll demonstrate once again. Just so you can see after I explained it what I mean. Let's go a little slowly this time. So you can see if you look at one individual leg, you can see the cam at the top rotating. And then it's pushing the leg through the little sliding bit and causing it to step which is very cool, and that's the principle of how basic walkers work. So the way we're going to do this is very special. We want to offset it for each leg. So we're going to have this one going up, this one, let's raise the lift here, going down, and this one is going to go up again. Let's get up here, All right? So we have it offset up, down, up, and now you want to do the opposite thing on the other side. So this one's going up, which means this one's going down, and then you can see that this one is this one here is going down, so we want this one to go up. And then this, you know you get the idea. You just want it to be offset for all of them. Make sure once again you're placing these blocks adjacent to these blocks, um, not adjacent, but connected to these blocks. So on the face of that block that's on the bearing, so that thing should rotate. Next, we're going to add more bearings up here that we're going to attach the legs to, like this. Raise your lift up, and then you want to place five blocks on the end of the bearing. So one attached to the bearing, and then three, four, five right there. So you get five total all attached to that one that's attached to the bearing. There we go. So let's do this. Oh, I can't get this click and drag thing. So I'm just going to place it manually. Five. One, two, three, four, five. You get the idea. And there we go. I'm just going to replace this one because I might have messed up. And then all you have to do is place your shock absorbers on the ends of the feet. 
So you should have three feet that are down and three feet that are up. When you're done, like so. So you notice this foot's down, that back foot's down, this foot's down, and then the other three feet are up. And then you can just place a block. I'm just using, I don't even know what this is. I assume it's stone, you know, concrete. Uh, on the ends of here, just because it looks different. Let's raise lift up a little bit. On all of the six legs. Because these shock absorbers in themselves don't act as feet. And that is the whole mechanical structure done. So um, don't get rid of your lift yet because it will break everything <laughs> because the bearings will all move. But you're going to want to take your, whatever this is, your wiring tool, connection tool, and we're going to wire this up now. So we're going to start by wiring the driver's seat to the engines so that when we press the go, the forward and, oops, Oh, I hit the bearing by accident. Uh, let's get rid of that. You want to grab the driver's seat and wire it to the engine so that when we hit forward or backwards, it's going to spin the engines, which are going to spin the bearings. Now, the reason we have two engines is because each one can only do up to five. Um, I didn't actually test that with the electric engine, only the gas engine, but whatever. Um, for symmetry, we're going to be using two, and because you might need it, I don't even know. But, oops. Um, we are going to take the engine now and hook it up to this bearing. See, there is the lower bearing, or the first bearing and the second bearing. We're going to hook it up to the first bearing on all of them. So one engine per side, basically. And then this engine is going to go to the ones on the other side. There. There. And there. All right, you should see that those three bearings on both sides are hooked up to your engines. And now you're going to make sure that they're all rotating properly. So you want them actually rotating um, backwards. If they, if they were a wheel, you'd want them rotating backwards. So like this is correct, this is correct, this is correct. And then these three are not correct because they're going the opposite way. So I'm going to right-click these to rotate them so they're all going backwards. And now we should be able to test our walker. So let's get rid of the lift. And then it should uh, pop off. And then we can hop in with E. And we should be able to test it. And voila, it's working, but it's going really slowly. And to fix that, all we have to do is change the setting on the engine. Now, I recommend engine setting number three or four. I'm just going to use three here because I used four on the other one. Um, sorry, four or five. I don't know what I'm talking about here. engine setting number four because then you get a good speed if you put it all the way to the top setting it will just completely spaz out and break so there you go engine setting four or five four is slower like this one five is quicker like that other one but yeah that is my brand new walker design that i built in like 20 minutes or something right after getting this game and i hope you enjoy but like i said guys i am super excited for this game Expect more awesomeness from me in the near future. I'm actually busy for the next couple weeks, so I'm really annoyed about that because I won't be able to get to do much in this game. Oh, look, it works upside down, too. That's just great. <laughs> that's, that's actually very funny. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Rex out.